I think more and more businesses are understanding how important it is to have creative people as part of the team. So an art degree can actually propel you into so many cool jobs. FastBot is an interactive agency. We've done everything from websites to kiosks and museums to more animation-based things. We've worked with some amazing clients really over the years. Delaware College of Art and Design, Ford's Theater, the Spy Museum in DC, Animal Planet. Now we're working with MICA. Bucknell University, they're in um, Lewisburg. So we'd gotten that first job, I think, in like 2008. And they redesigned their site a couple years ago and they felt like they should ask us to uh, pitch again. They're like, of course, we're gonna hire someone else to get something different. They knew going into the project they wanted something really innovative that no one's ever seen before for a higher ed site. So we went in to pitch and uh, apparently we left and, and it was like a unanimous decision that they were going to hire us and they were shocked. We critiqued our own previous work so thoroughly and that absolutely comes from art school background. Yeah. That we could look at our own yeah. work and just tear it apart. <laughs> that they were uh, convinced that we could take a fresh look at their site going forward. No one in my family had gone to college before, and my whole family are all like super creative. I applied to CIA kind of late. I'll never forget my mom driving to the high school while I was in my French class, and she was honking her horn, waving the acceptance letter out of the car. <laughs> you know, it was really a, a cool moment. We just feel like we went to school with the most talented people who did such incredible work. Many of them are successful artists. The opportunity to go from that real limited situation where people would only see your artwork if they came to your studio or if you managed to get a show, if you could create a website, it was just sort of mind-blowing that anyone in the world could look at your art 24-7. And then once we learned those skills, we just kept learning more um, ways to kind of put things onto the computer and then we ended up learning how to create things on the computer. Tracy started being like, we can make money doing this. Like, and she started answering <laughs> ads for our website. And I was like, Tracy, we don't know how to do it. She's like, no, we do. And we'll figure out what we don't know. And this was like 1998, 99. And we sort of became known as this little creative duo who could do kind of cool stuff. And we were sort of like, how do they know about us? And, and But back then, not that many people knew it. The web was coming online and this convergence of creative people and programmers and it was an open pioneering kind of landscape. You could do whatever you wanted. That was really, really appealing to an artist. We talk about how we would never be doing what we're doing, ever. We had gone to school where we went to school. There's so many options for someone who understands how to leverage their creativity. It's unique and it's, I think, uh, an advantage when we talk about our background. Because Yale could hire anybody in the world. And they know that, and we knew that, and so they invited us to set, send in a proposal for their brand new website. They did end up hiring us. And I just remember thinking, it's just cool to have gone to art school, then Yale's gonna give us a bunch of money to do something cool for them. You learn absolutely the skills Ironically, that could make you a fantastic business person, a fantastic entrepreneur. It all comes from just getting that education and getting that familiarity. That just sets you up to, I think, just have a much more rewarding life.